here we are today is a special day we're going to answer the big question just how fast are the Royal Enfields so uh, make yourself a cup of tea and uh, find out so welcome back to the channel everybody and uh, today's the day we're going to find out just how fast the Royal Enfield is so uh, is it faster than a snail? So uh, just for your, your knowledge, a, uh, a snail travels at 0.029 miles per hour. This will do about 70 miles an hour. So work out the maths for that one, it's a beast. So I've had a few uh, people mention in the comments and some of the videos that these uh, bikes are a piece of shit and they're uh, slow, snails are faster. Well, I think I've just proved that one wrong, but we're going to prove it wrong. So, uh, a snail has just set off. I've set off now. We're going to Bury St Edmunds. Uh, it says on here I've got 61 miles to go, 11.48. Now, pay attention to that. Estimated time of arrival, 11.48. Let's see if we can beat that and prove that this bike is fast. We're going to do some overtaking, hopefully, and show that this bike is uh, pretty fast in the twisties. Yes. Uh, what else? So as you can see, I'm uh, wearing my full carbon helmet because uh, I've got to take safety precautions. I've got my uh, full body armor on as well today. Uh, what else have I got? I've got uh, it's quite cold as well, so I've got my G lay on underneath. And to top it all off with my layering system, I've got my crazy horse long uh, long sleeve top on. So uh, yeah, that just tops it all off. So yes, let's see if we can prove these man babies trolls. Uh, I think half of them don't even ride motorcycles. Well, they've never ridden a motorbike. So, uh, yeah, let's see if they're right or not. Let's see if this really is slow. So, I'll have an update for you on the snail. He's uh, still at the back gate at the minute. He's uh, he's making his way. However, I have, uh, I'm up, I've just gone through Wickford now. So, uh, I've just gone through the roadworks. And, uh, yeah, we're doing well. Just more, more, uh, more roadworks coming up. It just seems to be the UK at the minute. It's just absolutely full of roadworks. So uh, how about we just sneak down here? Yeah, it's getting here. Okay, see if, uh, see if the bullet will do 70 miles an hour. Oh yeah, easily, look at that. Check that out, 70, easily done. It looks like we're gonna uh, pass yet another car. Let's get past this bad boy. Boom, there you go. Couldn't see a snail doing that. Okay, time to get past the lorry. Oh yeah, done him. Oh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do this guy as well. The Audi. Oh, the ball wind feels faster than an Audi. Get in there, smashed him. Look at that. We're not even doing our top speed, 65. Here we go. Let's get past this lorry as well. We're doing a bit of a slipstream in there. Check that out. Boom. Another vehicle passed. Nice one. 56 miles to go. One hour 26. Estimate time of arrival still 11:48. Wonder where that. I wonder how that snail is getting on. Wonder how he's getting on. Oh, here we go. Let's have a look. Yep, nicely done. To get in front of these two. Nothing worse than being stuck behind the uh, a lorry with a turbulence or even one of these things. Look at this dump truck. Dump from their crack. Look at the little bits and bobs coming out. Let's get past him. All right then, let's see if we can uh, make up some time at the roundabout. Oh, it's a bit sketchy, isn't it? Got to remember the uh, the brakes on these are uh, not not super super great. They're good, but they're not like amazing. Uh, is this guy just going to sit here? Right, let's see if we can creep in here. Oh, but that ain't good. Look at that. We've lost some time. Estimated time of arrival has gone up by a minute, it's now 11.49. Oh, that ain't good. Oh look, I'm in the outside lane again. So any sensible person, and an adult, that rides motorbikes, uh, motorcycles will know. God, that was hard to say, wasn't it? It doesn't really matter how fast you go when you go, when you, anything above 70 miles an hour, because the national speed limit is 70 miles an hour. See, so, I could just get past all these lorries. Look at this. Oh, we're back down to 1148. So we have here someone who's doing obviously well below the uh, speed of what a lorry can do. So uh, me and the lorry are going to absolutely annihilate this person. He's just sitting there chilling out. Let's see if we get past him. 
there's our turn off now I have to say and I don't know it's because I'm dialed into the bike now I've done nearly 10,000 miles that the vibes at this speed are not really that intrusive anymore um, yeah so a lot of people you know have said about oh the bike's really vibey yes they are vibey however it's normally through the bars you can I mean, look at that look you can see that there so but I, I think I've become used to it so uh, and the other thing is he's just cruising along I'm nice and chilled out as well I'm comfortable got all day riding on this bike with this seat I'll check out this uh, number plate GAE go Oh, it's the beauty of having a motorcycle. Let's just get down the outside of these lunatics. Wake up some more time. Look at that, absolutely smashed it. All oh, right, time to make up some time around the outside of these fellas. Let's see. Oh yeah, nicely done, bullet. Nicely done. Oh, let's destroy these ones as well. Oh, look at this. We could do the lorries as well. He's that communist uh, Land Rover again. Look at that CCP. We've seen him before. I'm pretty sure I've seen that somewhere before. Oh, yeah, let's give us a little bit. Give him a little wave, say thank you. Uh, looks like Tesco man's having a bit of a bad day. Oh, yes, look at that. Nicely done. I can't, I can't see a snail doing that. I'm telling you now, there's no way, not in a million years, a snail is doing any of that. The fun bit about these bikes is just to uh, carry your speed in through the roundabouts and stuff. Woo, there we go, look at that. We round, we go. Why am I making silly girly noises? No fucks given with this bloke, he's just going to pull out in front of me. Nice one, you clown. What a chimp. You see, that's the only drama with these bikes, which I found with this particular bike. I've never had so many vehicles pull out in front of me. I don't know what it is. I think they just see you coming. They think, oh, look, there's some old, old, old banger, some old scooter coming around the corner. I'm going to pull out in front of them because I've got loads of time. No, you haven't, lorry driver. What an absolute idiot. So while we're in this 40 miles an hour, just, uh, show you my new gloves look at these fast goose got these from i think northern ireland or ireland one of the two oh it says on there it's that ride ride something probably best not to pay too much attention while i'm riding but uh, they said that they were winter motocross gloves um yeah probably not i quite like the uh, tan leather on the inside and then you've on the finger bits you've got these uh, bits here so you can do the touch screen on your phone which uh, seems to work quite well so far but uh, yeah I've got a black pair and I've got a red pair as well not too expensive didn't break the bank uh, well this is going to put a bit of a dampener on the uh, proceedings isn't it trying to do a speed test here oh however it's great because it just means uh, just filter up through all of this. There we go. Look, there, there's the uh, roadworks up there. Roadworks absolutely everywhere at the minute. It's mental. What's this person doing? He's gonna get in front of you. Yeah, it's bonkers. What is? I mean, you know, we get this uh, towards the end of the year, didn't you? Just before April. Not this time of year. It's absolutely crazy. Crazy, a bonkers. I know you're going to ask, Jim, can it overtake? Well, yes, look. There we go, pass that fella. Can we do this one as well? Oh, yeah, look at that. Didn't even break into a sweat. 65 miles an hour, tops even. That's not even correct, because uh, my thing says I'm doing 51 when I'm doing 60. Mental. But yes, you can overtake on a Royal Enfield bullet. Look at that. And I'm chilled with it as well. Oh, that 
was a lovely series series of little s bends lovely so here we are in Bury St Edmunds what time did we do it in let's have a look let's have a look uh, 11.44 was the uh, estimated time of arrival so I've shaved off three minutes I've still got uh, a couple of more minutes to get to the uh, car back park that I'm going to but there you go I think I proved my points the uh, raw Enfields are faster than a snail I've obviously got a bit of an advantage because my Royal Enfield is a red one so you've got about three to two no two to three miles an hour more top speed so yeah there you go it's for all those morons out there then those man childs those people that don't ride motorbikes that come up with that moronic thing of saying that they're these are slow and that they're slower than snails I think we proved the point there and then the whole thing is purely just moronic saying that because these are these is basically it's a retro bike it's a modern retro bike these came out over nearly a hundred years ago last century's technology so to say that these are fast you've got to be an absolute mongo and they really are these people are that come out and say stuff like that are they badly made no they're not come on jesus oh check out that number plate there look at that zzr we has got kawasaki i'd love that wouldn't they so like i was saying if you like the videos give us a thumbs up if you haven't uh, if you haven't already subscribed smash that red subscribe button if you are a subscriber hit the notification bell that way every time this idiot uploads a video you get notified and that my friends is jim diesel out